Hi, it's Cayman Reynolds, and let's do a little grafting, shall we? Look at those little larvae down in there. So small, and they're all destined to be workers, but a few of them are not anymore. We're fixing to take matters into our own hands, and this is where I firmly believe that humans have the great potential of doing a lot of good, not only for bees, but for everything around the world as long as we take the time and effort to do it and work with nature, not against nature. What we are doing, yes, is changing the direction of nature, but we're still working along the natural process of how the bee works. These larvae right here are, not all of them are the same age. As you noticed, a few of them were different sizes, but we are only gonna select from those, and I'm fixing to show you in a second, that are 24 hours and younger after they've been hatched. Takes three and a half days roughly till the egg goes from the time it's laid to the time it's hatched. And we don't want anything really older than 24 hours old. Now I'm used to seeing these things and I know what size to look for. There's several good pictures out there. If you're wanting a good queen rearing book, um, Dr. Uh, it was Larry, Larry Lawrence Connor has a really good book um, about um, just hobby uh, queen rearing talks a little bit about commercial queen rearing so I'm going to take this tool right here and that's what I want let me see if I can get this to where you can see it good that's as big as you want to get them right there all right now, I have royal jelly down in these cells, just a tiny little bit. Maybe you can see that. It makes it so much easier, and it has, gives them food right away. And look at that. Went from being a worker bee to now being destined to be a queen bee. And we're going to have a couple more videos showing you how to set up your queen cell starter. We're going to do just the hobby way right now. Eventually, we're going to get around to doing it the way that we do it, which is more efficient. But if you're just needing a, you know, you can definitely do a dozen queens like this. But mainly what you want is some good lighting. You might need um, a pair of, uh, oh, goodness. You can get a light over the top of your shoulder, sometimes a sunlight. It needs to be fairly warm. You need to be quick about this or you'll chill the larvae and then they won't take good or at all. And also, you can get actually a couple hive tool, not hive tools, grafting tools that have like a little magnifying glass on it. And they have special glasses and goggles that you can buy that aren't even for grafting that help you see. So if you have um, an issue seeing things like this, uh, there's things out there that can help you do it. Now, having black plastic foundation makes all the difference as well. I love having royal jelly. It makes it so much easier. Now, some of these guys are so tiny. I'll see if I can get one. Come here, you. All right, that one's a lot smaller. Got a nurse bee on my finger. I'm not sure if you can see that. That one was just hatched. There we go. That's still a really good grafting size. However, they're a lot harder to grab. I just love dropping them in that royal jelly. All right, so you graft a bar like this. Get off of me, will you? Get some honey. That's right there. Scoot, scoot, scoot. I'm going to end up pinching it, and we're both going to be unhappy. <sighs> Leave me alone. There you go. Go get some honey. All right, so you just keep going with all the rest of them. There's 15 on this bar. This is a Jay-Z BZ cell bar. Some people uh, don't like using all the plastic, but they work very well. You don't have to like it. There's wax cups you can buy out there. I, Walter T. Kelly used to make those. I'm not sure they do anymore. Um, I actually have better acceptance with the plastic ones. Uh, I think it's because they're, they're made more evenly. The wax ones uh, sometimes are just, they're, they're misshapen, and so they, the bees don't like them. But so all you got to do is get your German grafting tool. I get mine from Dadent because they're much cheaper there, but other supplies have them. And you just pick up that little larvae right there. And it's just so simple. But you can take this from your best queens and start spreading those high quality genetics. Here, let's get this. Maybe you can see this. We're going to this cell right here. Little bitty larvae. Royal jelly. Pow. It's that easy. 